This build that I'm about to showcase to you is one that focuses on stacking an ailment as much as possible and one that is one of the most unique kinds of builds that I've ever made in any game, ever. So let's hop straight into it. So here we are on a level 84 Lich with no boots. Now personally, as soon as I saw the Aura of Decay skill, I immediately fell in love with the concept of poisoning yourself so that you can poison other things. However, there are a lot of synergies in Aura of Decay to take less damage from poison specifically. So you're dealing a ton of damage and you're taking almost none. And then complementing that with Reaper form and then other sources of damage mitigation and sustain and everything comes together in a cool way. All in all, I don't think this is as min-max as it could be. However, it is nasty. So <laughs> let's check this out really quickly. So Aura of Decay looks like this. You activate it and it starts poisoning you. You can see here in the bottom right, it starts poisoning you. And the thing that makes poison the ailment so unique is that it reduces the target's poison resistance by 5% per stack at a maximum of 30 stacks and it's you know subtracts two instead of five uh, against bosses and players so you'll notice i'm hovering between 46 and 48 poison resistance and then when i go into reaper form i'm over capped by around 20. now reaper form is extremely cool it gives you a whole nother health pool and when i get to zero health on this reaper form health pool i'll actually revert back to my original form so i wanted a self-sacrifice unkillable type build for hardcore and alongside that so to make sure i never died i got one instance of endurance threshold and i maxed out my endurance rating because we're gonna be at low health all the time because we use death seal death seal or of decay and reperform are all insanely unique skills as far as arpgs are concerned now there are tons of intricate parts about the build uh, with death seal and reperform and i'll go over that at the end but right now i'll show just how good or of decay is and how good poison is just by themselves without really uh, too much synergy i'll just use reperform and or of decay to showcase this and you can see here, all I'm doing is just walking around, even when I get hit by a ton of enemies like that, you know, just straight up back to full health. And this is just passively without using my main skills as well. So if we end up using just one spirit play, then things just die really quickly. And here, if we use wandering spirits with a very specific poison stacking like synergy, that, that thing just died almost instantly. Um, once it gets up to around 30 stacks or so, you're gonna start seeing like a lot of damage over time. It just goes crazy. But against like normal trash mobs, you don't even have to like look at them, they just kind of die. And this is, and again, this is without like really min-maxing at all or anything. So what the build really looks like is you use Death Seal to keep yourself at around Endurance Threshold level. And you take almost no damage and you deal a ton more damage and that's global damage you'll be increasing not spell damage not poison damage you're just increasing all damage you deal while you're essentially taking no damage and you can notice there so here let's check out the effectiveness of this build when we're actually fighting a boss and we'll only use poison to kill this boss so that we can definitely make sure and see You can see here, this is also the poison shade of Orbis. So you can see just how much damage we're actually doing with this. And you can see those things actually hit me. Those, when you fight these shades, you'll probably get one shot by those. And it barely did like 50 damage to me while I had Death Seal on. You can see here, we instantly leech back the one damage he deals to us. It's like, you're basically invulnerable while you have death seal up, but also, um, you know. So I can go more, I could go more off that deep end and go for like more status frequency on myself while I, instead of like going super, super tanky, which is kind of what the Aura of Decay setup is at this moment in time. So instead of like things like Absence of Life node and Respite node and Plague Rat node, Actually, Plague Ride's pretty nice. Uh, we can get 
ailment frequency 50%, so we can put 50% more poisons on. Like it's just that crazy. And that's not even talking about the like the other parts. You can get so much more damage on this build. It's nuts. So now really quickly, let's go over the interactions that allowed that kind of build to take place. So first of all, Or of Decay is amazing. You can start healing yourself based off of the amount of health you're missing, take less poison damage. You can reduce enemies' poison resistance, and you can also decrease enemies' poison resistance per intelligence you have. You also get minus poison resistance per intelligence I have. However, to counteract this, we use the Vile Shroud node in the Reaper tree, which gives us poison resistance and necrotic resistance uh, per intelligence. So these two points negate each other, and the enemy just has minus 55 poison resistance on top of when we get the 30 stacks of poison resist and we start getting poison shred as well, uh, we're, we're going to be doing a lot of damage for poison tick. And then we have death seal that makes us do more damage based off of how much missing health we have. And then we take this node, which puts us to 33% of our max health, if we're above 33% of our max health and we can see that here it just takes us down to right above our endurance threshold and this also makes you take less damage depending on how much missing health you have so we're taking a lot less damage as well for example uh, when i have death seal on i'm probably close to around like 1000 percent health right now instead of 33 percent health is basically effectively what that does with all the different synergies I have. Wandering Spirits, we just turn it into a poison damage skill and make it stack up a bunch of poisons with these over here, so that's not important. It's really good for boss killing though. And Spirit Plague, we also use a lot of poison damage with Spirit Plague and also make it scale off of intelligence as well. So in Reaper form, you start to take more damage over time. It's called Health Decay. It's not a Health Degen. It's not Health Loss. It's Health Decay. It's very specific. You can't really mitigate it at all but you can counteract it with health leech and that's the only way because it also disables your own health regen and there's some synergies within the tree that help you increase your health leech and health gain and there are also synergies that give you more spell damage based off of how long that you've been in reperform and so when we're inside reperform for the entirety of an echo we're going to be dealing a ton more damage now there are a lot of instances like this where we're getting 120% increased damage and that's global damage modifier so that increases the poison damage that we do on the poison stacks from ore of decay and wandering spirits and this effect is tripled at low life so that alongside death seal that puts us at low life we're getting so much more damage when we activate death seal and then here we have poison damage and poison duration and this makes poison go crazy because poison duration is essentially a multiplicative damage modifier with diminishing returns but if you get just 50 percent poison duration that's insane and then it also gives us some poison damage for good effect here we get poison pen and necrotic pen this is amazing of course those are just 24 percent multipliers to our necrotic and poison damages and then we have this passive node which increases spell damage and damage over time and that's basically double dipping that's effectively 112 percent damage for any damage over time spell which we're basically only using damage over time spells and then i also have a lot of vitality and a lot of health regen and reduced health drain and things like that again this build when i'm looking at it now this build isn't even good but it makes use of a few interesting mechanics and interactions so i hope this demonstrated just how powerful ailments can be if you stack them up and even if you go half ass into them and not go purely into them you can still do some crazy things <laughs> get theory crafting it's a good ass time